never delete footage. On my recent trip to Italy, I filmed more than 250 gigabytes in less than seven days. But should I really store all of that? Storing footage is a discussed topic in the YouTube community. When I reached out and asked other YouTubers, I was astonished how many people actually delete their footage once they are done with the videos and uploaded them. But on the other hand, there are as many people who said they're keeping all of their footage because they never know what it might be good for in the future. So let's discuss this topic a little bit. Deleting footage has mainly two upsides. The one is you saving time with organizing all your footage and the other is, of course, saving space on your computer or your hard drive. However, what is if keeping all your footage has actually more upsides than downsides? Let's imagine just a few things you could do with footage you saved and stored. I have photos on my hard drive dating back until 2002 when we got our first digital camera. That's nothing compared to today. But I'm happy that I have all the photos dating back so long. But I'm even happier my mom made these photo albums dating back until my birth. And these photo albums are a real goldmine to make a story even greater and give it a personal touch. And now I save all the video footage I record, even this one. Keeping all of the footage might sound messy, but if you're well organized, the storage of old footage can be useful at any given time in the future. You can use it as stock footage or b-roll. Or you can make flashbacks, like when I was in Hawaii. This is seriously the easiest way we could have chosen. I mean, it's nice. But it's not the easiest path I could imagine. Oh, that seems like a trail back there. Finally. What might help you to tell your story by giving more context? And by using all the footage in like a context of a story or as flashbacks, you might even make people more interested in your older content. For example, when they were not subscribed to your channel. Or you might even want to re-edit your video you made once because now you have the skill set to edit it the way you actually planned it or you wish you would have done it. Or maybe one day you want to make a best of video. And yeah, of course, you can use your final videos you made. But there's music on it and it's difficult to cut that out when you don't have the original footage anymore. And to be honest, storage is not that expensive anymore. By now, after making videos for like half a year, I already have more than 3 gigabytes of video material, which I store on one of my 5 hard drives, of which are 3 stationary hard drives, with a storage of in total 4 gigabytes, and 2 flash hard drives, of which each has 1 gigabyte of storage. And I can make them very portable by attaching them on my computer. And yes, I still have the footage of how to do that. And right now I'm going to start to explain you how to increase the memory of your computer with Velcro. You need your computer, your hard drive and self-adhesive Velcro. Use the sticky side of the Velcro for the hard drive and the fluffy side for the laptop. Just attach the hard drive to the computer. And yet I didn't include all the online storage in like clouds, which is like 500 gigabytes by now, and the two hard drives in my computers. I can't tell you what is best for your situation, but I know saving all the footage and the photos over all these years saved my day more than once. Even making other backups. And I know, I know, I know, making backups is so boring, but it will save your day one day and you don't know when this will be. It can be tomorrow, it can be in 10 years. But if you don't make backups of important data, not only video material or photos, it can be a pain in the one day. You will never know if you need an old photo, video, or any other kind of memory one day. But if you delete them all, what will you do at that day?
and now,